In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Evan Mobley and why he is such a defensive monster for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Evan Mobley has a massive upside, so let's get down. Let's check him out. So in this first clip, we're really looking at the weak side and his ability to get over and contest shots taken at the rim. And of course, he's very successful here. What made this so amazing is his ability to react so fast, but also to plant his feet before jumping and using the the principle of verticality to be able to jump straight up into the air so that he can contest the shot but not block it. You don't necessarily have to go and block every single shot. You just need to make it tough for the other team to score. He does this, the exact same thing right here where he plants both feet and then he jumps straight up. Now here he is reaching out slightly to try to block that shot but he does not make any contact and that is key. You do not want to make any contact for blocking a shot. You want to go for that ball and that ball only. Here he's able to move his feet against even a smaller defender to stay squared up against that defender, doesn't go for the ball fake, and then he makes that shot extremely tough to make and of course the player misses. This was all because he was able to move his feet and not cross them and when he did start running with the player, he kept his hips pretty much square with that player and his shoulders as well almost totally square with that player he never crossed his feet once which then allowed him to be able to stay with that player when that player did a quick snatch back to shoot we see this again right here where he takes small little steps and small little hops to stay with the player who he's defending he doesn't cross his feet once and he's able to contest that shot he doesn't block it but he contests it really well so when he closes out small steps small hops keeps his hand up he's a very tall player so he can contest the shot you again don't need to block the shot here he's able to keep his feet wide spaced out on his toes staying squared up with his player he's forcing his player left right here but he's able to drop that top foot to be able to stay with that player now when that player does gather that ball Evan Mobley is able to time it perfectly to understand, hey, this player is not going to dribble again. I need to go and contest that shot. And even though he goes to block this shot, which some coaches will say not to do because it's a jump shot, he's able to contest it. But even if that was a shot fake, he was landing well away from where Porzingis was going to be standing so that no matter what, he was not going to get that foul. So here we see a fantastic recover. Here we see Rose attacking Evan Mobley and Mobley does rotate his hips slightly away from his player, slightly for a second, but he's able to stay with him. This is all because when he takes that one step, he takes one step and then after that step, he gets back to being square with his defender. If you're going to run alongside the player, you better not continue to run more than one step. You want to get back to being square. And by continuing trying to force himself to be square with that player, being big, keeping his hands up away from trying to steal that ball, he's able to get that shot contest. This is a fantastic recovery where one step is able to get him back to being square with that player. It helps having long legs, but again, being big, trying to make it as hard as possible to shoot. Now this hedge was very, very good. So this was actually a very good move on the player's side who has the ball, but really good defense by Mobley. So first off, when you use a screen, you really want to cut down towards the basket if your player, your defender, goes over top of the screen with you. This will then force the screener to also roll towards the basket in most cases, while, in my opinion, this rolling player should have actually stayed out on the perimeter and potentially even moved down towards the winger corner corner. However, with that player now attacking the basket, Evan Mobley doesn't have to cut off that player. That would then give the pass over to the screener for an easy basket. All Evan Mobley needs to do is to cut off the ability to pass, and with his length, he's able to go up for that block and time that perfectly. So, how he's able to time this is that player picks up that ball, now he has two steps. One, two. And now, that player is going to be going up for that layup or dunk and Mobley is able to time that perfectly especially if you've got length on your side you're going to be able to do this however if you were the attacking player just on a side note at this point this first step he should have went up for the shot 
He should have went up for the floater at that first step because that would have thrown off Evan Mobley's timing. So if you're a player, of course, on defense, always try to time those two steps to be able to get that block. Now this is fantastic defense on Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes tries to attack the middle, and as we can see here, Evan Mobley is able to stay with him without crossing his feet. He then pushes out his chest slightly to be able to absorb that contact from Scotty Barnes, and when Scotty Barnes makes that contact, Contact, Evan Mobley takes a small hop back again to slightly absorb that contact that also allows him to stay with Scotty Barnes so that he can get that block also you can time these step backs as well so here this player does a quick jab in and out jab cross where he pushes off that left foot he brings those two hands together and then Jason Tatum goes up for the shot but Evan Mobley is able to time that perfectly and at least contest that shot and potentially may, might have even blocked it. And how he was able to do this was when that jab cross happened, all Evan Mobley did was drop that left foot, but he stayed with that player, with Jason Tatum, stayed square with him, and then all he had to do was take one step forward, and when he jumps, he doesn't jump into the player, he jumps across the player. This is another massive skill to have out on the perimeter. If you can jump across the player, you will be able to contest that shot and never get the foul. So here they get the switch, and again, Evan Mobley crosses his feet to run with that player right here, but watch what he does. He takes that step, and then he gets back to being square with his defender. This is extremely key. If you're going to cross your feet like this and run with the player, you only want to take one step. That's it. After that, you need to be able to get your body square with that player once again, and that's what we see here, and he's able to stay big and strong. Now in this next clip, again, a fantastic de help defensive situation where he's able to come from the weak side, he's able to head over and time this shot. This is one step, and now this player is standing straight up. He's not going to be taking a second step, which means that you can then time your block. Players who only take that one step layup to try to throw you off, you can time it by saying, well, this player is standing straight up on that first step. I bet he's going to probably go for the layup and or dunk or whatever, and that's what happened here. I hope that this Evan Mobley defensive breakdown helps you become a better defensive player. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.